Ooh. Ah, here we go. So, uh, just talk to the cat that owns his house, my best friend, JD. He got a, going through his junk, his mail, junk mail, that's important mail too. But got a thing from, uh, he got a thing, now he's in Missouri, but he got a thing from uh, Charles Schuber, Senate Majority Pack. Oh, he's the Senate Majority Pack. Hey, but at Washington, D.C. James C. But C is not his middle name, so he's just wrong. And they got this whole complicated plan. They're going to take back the, you know, this the Democratic. It's the, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it again. It's the Senate Majority P. Pack, P A C. Ditch Mitch and his friends 2020 plan. They got a plan. <laughs> And good old Chuck Schumer, you know? You know, it's, he's, he, he's gonna wake up with disastrous Citizens United, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's gonna face up Donald Trump. Here's the thing, man. Let me tell you something. I've been drinking, I found this wine here in Missouri. It's quite, look, here's the thing I don't really like about the internet and stuff like that. They start to put you in some sort of loop. They think they know what you like. But like, when I got this wine, just before JB left, he was, I rushed into the store, I was looking for some Shiraz. I said, I want some Shiraz, blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, you know, so I said, I, I need a good, good uh, red wine. So they recommended this brand here. Now, if this was the internet, you know, Russia, Russia it, they wouldn't know, you know? Anyway, so I got this 19 Crimes wine. And I like this, I like this wine. This one is a Cabernet Sauvignon. I like this Shiraz best. I, I finished, I just, just it took me a long time. I finished a, a bottle of Shiraz. It took me like uh, 10 days. And as you can see, this one, I had a little bit last night. And it's right, it's right up here. So it's going to take me to rest. Like I'm here another week, so it's going to take me a, a whole week, I think, when I get around to this. So I'm sipping on a little bit of wine. But I just went to. Oh, this is not wine. Oh, this is the black. Hey, this is my black uh, black cherry juice. Hey, I guess this is for later. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, I bring up 19 crimes only because these politicians are criminals. I have to lap a car later. Okay. Hey, this is the black cherry. I, I like the black cherry. I'll do that before I go to bed. But here's the thing I've been thinking. This is Chuck Schumer's uh, New York senator. And we're day after 9 11. Boy, 9 11. 2001. Where was I? I was doing democracy now. When the planes hit, I was in, we was in a garret, in the fire garret up there, you know, on, on Lafayette Street. Was, and um, anyway. If you go through the archives of democracy, now go to, go to September 11, 2001, you'll hear my voice, you know, because just me and Amy was in that garret at the time. I forget who else was there. A couple other people. And so I went through that. This is this is the interesting thing. How do I end up from from the fire garret at 2000, you know, planes hit in the World Trade Center to here in the middle of Missouri, you know, in uh, 2019? Well. It was a long journey, you know, and I'm the type of person, and that was my job at the time, you know, I guess I don't know. Um, but I had a little incident with the C the next year, 2002, uh, well, July 27th to be exact, 2002, had a little incident with the C, paralyzed for three days, you know. Anyway, I wore myself back to health, but a bunch of stuff happened. But in that time period, right after that, I was recuperating in Silver Spring, Maryland, close to Washington, D.C. But if you remember that time period, here I am walking around with a sling, and I had a, my I was I was in a neck brace for a year. You know what I mean? Walk around like the mummy. And uh, guess what? Silver Spring, Maryland. It was the center center thing for the DC sniper. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So I went from one <laughs> fire into the pan or whatever the heck it is. You know what I mean? So it's kind of interesting. But DC sniper is kind of interesting because he was the only guy that was really um, a black. You know, a black. You know, man, that was the, you know, guy that's shooting up a bunch of people. Black people don't go around shooting up a bunch of people. They don't. So this guy was more mental than, well, I guess everybody, I don't know. Anyway, so that was kind of interesting. But I remember in that time period, because that's when they was going into Afghanistan. We just went into Afghanistan. I met this brother on the street. And I remember because I was in my sling and everything and my, my neck brace. I said, you know, they go with it because I'm, I'm, I'm a vet. So he was talking. I guess this guy was a vet too. I, I just remember talking to him. 
I said, you know, I think it's a good idea to go into Afghanistan. Isn't that where they grow the poppies and stuff like that? When we went to Vietnam, people came back with all kinds of drug problems. Going to Afghanistan, going to come with all kinds of drug problems. Sure enough, that's exactly what happened. So you can't help but thinking that these plans, these plans that these politicians have, was they send you to war, you know? Well, the plans are not good for you. I've had this, this standing thing for the last few years. They really stop. Look, let me put it this way. I'm just finishing up and finishing up. I'm in season eight of uh, Game of Thrones. You know, I really like this. It's a good series. You know, it's a lot of, a lot of interesting lines that they say in there, whatever have you. And this, they're just about to go to war with the, with the, with the, you know, with the dead people. You know, there's the eve of that. Everybody's, you know, all the relationships. You know, you know, people are boinking each other, and you know, they, they're resolving things, and people finding out that they're actually, you know. Brothers, I don't know, you know, this guy's really a king, and you know, whatever the stuff is, you know. He, but he's been, he's been boinking the the the, the 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 dragon lady, you know, all kinds of stuff. Nice, court intrigue. I like it. It's a good series. I like it. I'm glad I'm coming to an end because I'm actually reading some books and I'm still looking for some stuff here in this huge house. Anyway, and the one thing you know, it's it, I guess George R. R. Martin wrote the thing. Um, wrote the original books, and you know, he's got it down pat, you know? These guys, the little people, they just don't notice the doggy. The little people, you know, we always, we always suffer. So, I mean, I've come to this thing, especially as a, as a black person in the United States, I'm going like, well, in the world, really, I live in, live in South Africa, is that you just gotta stop listening to white people. <laughs> That's it. Stop listening to when I say white people. I actually do mean almost all white people. But just let me put it: the white mentality people, because that could be black people too. People that embrace this white mentality, just stop listening to them. Just stop it. Don't listen to their newscasts. Don't listen. Nothing. None of that stuff. Stop listening to them. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Stop letting them get. Just stop letting the white mentality get into your brain. That's the thing. When they send you something, don't don't entertain. Don't even you know if, they, if, if, if even the, even the, the so-called white people that's trying to expose the white people, they put you in that white mentality loop and stop listening to them. Find a couple of black people or at least some white people that make some sense. I mean, you know, I like I personally like I like uh, uh, James Colbert and, and uh, the Colbert Report, and I like uh, I like uh, uh, Max Ma Stacy Stacy Herbert and Max Kais. I listen to them. Those are the white people I listen to just for information purposes, right? Other than that, you know, I'm listening to some other people, some black people, you know, some Zoe Williams, you know what I mean? I use the Corey 5150, shout out, well, you know, I say shout out, much respect to, to Corey and them, you know, because that kind of thing, you know, I'm listening to Afro Synergy News, yeah, those kind of people, st just do what you need to do, that's all I'm trying to say. That's all I have to say, me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to the bed, letting you know. What I only suspect is I have to let the doggy in because I let him out. He's got this little cop. Check you later.